How do I point my 123reg domain name to my third party website? So there are two ways that you can do this. For the first method, you can point your domain name to your third party website by changing to your hosting provider's name servers. Please note that although this is the easiest method to use, making this change means that you will no longer be able to manage your DNS for your domain name in your 123reg control panel, unless you decide to change your name servers back to 123reg. So to change your name servers, log in to your 123reg control panel and click on Manage for the domain name you wish to point to your website. Depending on what type of domain name you have, you may have to unlock it first. So just have a look in the Domain Transfers menu just here. If the Manage Domain Locking option does not appear here, then you won't need to unlock the domain name. For domains that need unlocking, you will see the Manage Domain Locking option, just click on it. OK, now click here on Unlock Domain, which will allow you to change the name servers for this domain name. Once this is done, you should see a message stating that the domain name has been successfully unlocked and then you can click here to go back to the Manage Domain page. Now click on Change Name Servers in the Advanced Domain Settings menu. You will need to enter the name servers for your hosting provider. You may be able to find these in your control panel on your hosting provider's website. If not, get in contact with them to find out the settings. Once you've entered them, just click Update and you should see a message stating your settings have been changed. Great! So once these name server settings are changed, your 123reg domain name will point to your third party website. But please note that it could take up to 48 hours for your name server changes to become active. OK, so that's the first method covered. Let's look at the second option. So for this method, you will need to ensure that your domain name is set to 123reg's name servers. This is especially important for customers who have transferred their domain name to us from another provider. So back in the Change Name Servers section, have a look to see if the name servers read ns.123-reg.co.uk and ns2.123-reg.co.uk. If there is anything else in these boxes, then you will need to update the settings. Just click Reset to 123reg default. Again, Please note that it can take up to 48 hours for your name server changes to propagate over the internet. OK, so once your name servers are set to 123reg, you can begin pointing your domain name to your third party hosting package. Go back to your control panel and click on Manage next to your domain name. Now click on Manage DNS and then click on the Advanced Settings tab. So in here, pointing your domain name can be done in two different ways. Creating a CNAME record or an A or address record. However, it's a good idea to confirm with your hosting provider on which option is best for you, so you can get the correct settings and find out any additional information that you may need. Please note that if you decide to point your domain name using an A record, then you will need to find out the IP address for your specific third-party web hosting package type. So, to create a new record, start by entering www into the hostname field. For a CNAME record, just choose CNAME from the drop-down menu. And choose A for an A record. If you are creating a CNAME record, then you will need to enter in the record where the domain name will point to in the Destination CNAME field. This may be the name of your hosting account, but you will need to check with your hosting provider on what this will be. For an A record, enter in the IP address of your third-party hosting package in the Destination IPv4 address field. OK, and once you've entered in this information, just click on Add. If you created an A record, we advise you to create a blank record to go alongside it. This basically means that if someone types in your domain name without the www prefix, they will still be directed to your website. To do this, just create another A record, typing in the same IP address that you used before, but just type in an at symbol in this field and then click on add again. That's it, your 123reg domain name should now be pointing to your third party web hosting package. But please note that it can take up to 48 hours for the new DNS records to become active, so don't worry if you can't see your website live straight away.